Just give us your thoughts on the weekend that was for the Gander Flyers. Yeah, uh, I thought uh, I thought last night's game was a great game. I thought we came out, you know, uh, ready to go. I think uh, tonight was a little tough. We're short staffed. Guys were uh, banged up, and uh, even to start the weekend, we were missing a few a uh, few key guys on the team. So it made it for a for a, for a tough weekend. But some guys stepped up, and it was uh, it was it's good to get some games under the belt that really don't mean anything. You learn on you learn a few things, and the coach can can see what he needs to work on and. And uh, even with line combinations, what works, what doesn't. So I think it's uh, it's, it's, it's beneficial. You know, the result really doesn't matter, and um, lots of things to work on and a lot of things to learn from. So, and also too, uh, this is your first two games for the Gander Flyers. So uh, just talk about your new team, and I guess uh, just talk about what you see earlier on from your new team. A uh, good good group of guys. Uh, good laugh. Uh, got a chance to come down last weekend and uh, have a few practices. So I met a lot of the guys and you know uh, talking to them where they played and. A few of them picking my brain, being the old boy around, and <laughs> but uh, overall, a good group of guys, and it's it's uh, a, a really young team. So uh, I think that uh, they brought in uh, guys like myself to, for, with a little experience, to maybe uh, uh, help out with some of the younger guys and be a bit of a leader. So uh, it's, but it's so far the management's been great, and uh, everyone's been super friendly, and it's been a, a great experience here in Gander so far. And also, too, for yourself, you spent a lot of time overseas playing at various pro leagues, and now you're out here in Gander. So I'm wondering if you could tell us a little story about how you ended up coming to Gander. Well, actually, it's a funny story. I've been, uh, I, I stopped going over to Europe last year. I stayed home and I played in the U.S., and I've got, uh, I've got three, three young kids at home. So I've, I've been trying to find something that uh, suits my lifestyle and can keep me closer to home. And uh, the, the, the schedule here, playing on the weekends, allows me to work my job uh, back home. And... I was sitting in the parking lot after a soccer game uh, this summer with a good friend of mine and uh, we were having a beer and <laughs> we were talking about what I was going to do. I was thinking about maybe going back to Europe, didn't know what to do and he says, you should go play in Gander, Newfoundland. Wow. <laughs> and his name's Kevin Miller and he's a good friend of mine and he's from Gander so he, uh, we talked about it and sure enough the next day he followed up by sending an email to Dennis and to a few of the guys on the uh, management and within a week I'd heard from Gary White and the ball, ball had started rolling and before long, I was meeting Gary in downtown Ottawa and signing to come play for Gander. So it was kind of a, it happened quickly, but it was a good friend of mine that really knows a lot about the league and his family is actually still here in town and uh, they're big fans and supporters of the team. So uh, it was a good connection to have and it's all worked out. I'm here now. <laughs> um, since we're the uh, quote unquote the older guy on the team, I don't know if you see yourself as a leader, even though you are like the I guess like the new guy here. Do you see yourself as, as, as I guess as that type of uh, hockey player? Yeah, I mean I've always been uh, you know an assistant or a captain on the team, and you know uh, when you get to my my age and the place I played, you need to be a bit of a uh, an all round guy that leads by example, and and, and, and guys kind of try and follow and learn from it so I, I'm going to take the same approach here and you know try and, and lead by example and let guys know that I'm here to compete and I'm going to do the little things to help out and and at the end of the day winning is the most important thing and and uh, and do what I can to, to help out so it's, uh, that's my main objection here. Um, it's not too often that we get somebody here with uh, so much experience playing overseas so uh, just tell us like a bit of the hockey culture over there is it, uh, is, is it big over there in hockey as well just like it is here in Canada? Uh, yeah you'd be surprised uh, depends on where you play I've played uh, in Germany uh, you know like where people people love their hockey they're, they're beating their drums and there's fires going in the stands it's kind of a kind of a soccer mentality that you'd see from uh, you know uh, brought over to the hockey they, they say sing songs they they like their, their their cold beers in the stands and and there's a lot of fans there's great support um, in Italy, same thing. They really, really got behind their team. Very, very small community, communities, similar to here, and uh, you know uh, the, the, the communities really got behind their hockey teams. And and uh, you could walk down the street, and everyone knew who you are, and very mm -hmm. friendly people. So, I had a great experience over there, and they love their hockey. And I've been fortunate to play in really good organizations and really good towns where I hope to go back and visit. And I'm always welcome back there. So, excellent. Thanks a lot, Peter. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Take care. Bob, uh, your first uh, uh, I guess series with the Gander Flyers is all done and in the books. So uh, I guess just uh, start this off, uh, maybe just uh, maybe just by giving us your thoughts on the on the series that was for the Gander Flyers. Well, I mean it's exhibition, right? So you got to take that out for what it's worth. Um, I thought we played, you know, obviously way better yesterday. Uh, today we were a little bit sloppy in the first period, and you know I couldn't really get it back. But you know. It's exhibition. We'll be, we'll be better next week. Um, is it possible for you just to talk about some of the good things that you saw from the Gander Flyers over these two games and maybe some of the things that you guys have to improve on in the future? Yep. Well, our, our goaltending has been good. Um, you know, we probably have five today, but we still played well. Like, you know, 
play on 40 shots. Um, definitely had to work on our D zone coverage, um, which will come with time. You know, we just came together this weekend and last weekend, so we got a, we got a long way to go. And as for you, uh, I guess uh, it was last season you spent with the AHL and in the ECHL, and now you're here playing for the Gander Flyers. So um, is it possible for you just to talk about how you ended up coming here to Gander? Yep, well, uh, I'm going to the University of New Brunswick this year, and uh, because I played pro the last two years, I have to do a red shirt this year. That's what they call it. So uh, <clears throat> I guess this league is not uh, professional, so um, I'm allowed to play here and, you know, get some games in and, you know, at least keep my uh, – uh, stay on the ice as much as possible and get ready for next year at UMB. Um, is it possible for you to maybe talk about your role this year for the Gander Flyers and uh, I guess maybe just tell us where you fit in here? Yeah, well, you know, I've always been a defensive forward, so I'll do the same thing here. Just be as simple as possible, you know, chip pucks in, chip pucks out, forecheck as hard as I can. Uh, you know, the way I played yesterday, I'll get other guys' skin. You know, apparently I fought the toughest guy in the league. You know, I'm not I'm definitely not a fighter, but, you know, I want to play a hard game, and if that pisses other guys off, then whatever. Thanks, Rob, for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.